ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about a subject that might make your lives easier. Something that I didn't do for a little bit because I thought I was too cool for it. And now I feel like I need to share with you guys. The subject is using your hideout to get some of the most annoying tasks in the game done quick and easy. So let's get into it right now. First and foremost, welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you're all having a great, great day. This video is about hideout and how we can use it for uh, completing some of the more annoying tasks. So the first thing I want to do is take you over to the lavatory and show you guys right off the bat a couple of things that you can craft to make your life a whole heck of a lot easier. First thing I'd like to mention is that when you look at your lavatory, it's probably going to be in a different order. For some reason, BSG likes to shuffle around all of the uh, recipes every single time you come back. So I don't, I don't know why that is, but if it's not in this particular order, order for you don't worry it's all still the same stuff i am at lavatory level two at this time you're not gonna have access to all of this stuff right off the bat but this is what you can look forward to at the very least first important thing to note here it's not exactly needed for tasking but you will be able to craft the blue fuel cans with zibos and crickets um this is important for two reasons one you need fuel to power your hideout and two you need these blue fuel cans to craft mag cases which are good for money and good for storage so it's a win-win situation you can craft the fuel power your hideout and then take the empty fuel cans and make a good old expensive mag case with them now moving on some of the actual task items clean wiper and the bleach you will need later on for peacekeeper at some point whenever you do get to that you can make these items here if you don't want to go out and find them next thing this this just got added i'm not sure of the relevance of this completely uh someone let me know in the comment section if this is for something i'm just not thinking about but you can take uh vodka and and five blue bandages and craft 10 10 army bandages again i don't really know why that's important uh fill me in if i'm missing out on something one thing that is important here is the 3m armor craft with the two ripstop and two aramid fabrics you'll need four of these in the beginning pretty pretty early on i don't know how easy it's going to be to find these particular fabrics but one important thing to know about this whole idea is that if you get to level 10 you can unlock the flea market and at that point you can buy all of the ingredients off the flea market and use them to craft the things that you need even if for the task it's found in raid that's okay because all the crafting you do in your hideout is considered found in raid even if you buy the materials for it off the flea it counts as found in raid so the idea here is if you'd like you can go make money and just play the game how you want and then use that money to buy the things you need to craft the things that the game wants you to get instead of going and hunting down these 3m armors religiously you can just kind of go play how you want and then spend money to craft it out these wd-40 cans are also for tasking but that is much later on so you don't need to worry about that in the beginning the 60 round 545 mags you'll need six of them fairly early on and they can be a bit annoying to find in raid so this is a really cool craft that they did just add recently makes that task much easier i don't recall needing toilet paper or scab backpacks for any tasking but you can still make them here hose you'll need so 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 many hose throughout your hideout and even later on for peacekeeper i believe he needs some too so that's a good craft and then the mag cases like i said are good for money and good for storage so and that is everything i have at lavatory level two fair warning this is not everything you can craft in your hideout i think as you can see because i don't have it maxed out yet but the idea is you can get a lot a lot of tasking done early on without having max hideout uh, so i think you get the picture you come over to the workbench i'm at level two right now you will need these rec bats for tasking i don't think you need wires for tasking actually you might need wires i know you need them a, a ton for hideout you might need them for tasking as well there's ammo crafts gunpowder crafts this one which i'm doing right now if you don't know which you probably already do most tasks now are found in raid meaning you have to find the item in the raid you can't just buy it off the flea to turn it in this is especially annoying coupled with the weight system when you get a task like the one i'm on right now where you need to turn in four car batteries that are found in raid first of all it's kind of hard to find them in the beginning of the wipe cycle second they weigh a lot and take up a lot of space and are really annoying to get out so what i'm doing is i just bought a tank battery for like 800 thousand and this little tool for like 20k and i'm crafting all the batteries i need and i'll turn them in with one single craft so i'm just going to knock that out without doing any work i'm just buying my way through it moving on you will need circuit boards for tasking which i definitely crafted some of those to get that done power cords i believe you need at some point for peacekeeper motors are going to be useful for hideout same with capacitors workbench also a great place to get some of the annoying task item crafting done and then just to get to get items that are going to help you further your hideout you can craft these here as well now I'm going to take us over to the nutrition unit and show you guys something they just added that's pretty 
dang slick and that would be the tashanka crafting oh my goodness this is really nice it wasn't exactly difficult to get tashanka if you didn't know you can go to goshen the store in interchange the red one and on the shelving you can find probably 10 tashanka on a fresh goshen run just if you check all of the shelving throughout the entire store, there's probably about 10 of these all around. So it's not exactly difficult to get these, but it is annoying because they have to be found in raid and you need 15. Now you can take these two cans of food and these croutons and craft two Tashanka at a time. Extremely helpful uh, to get that task done without worrying about it and doing constant Goshen runs. Also, this isn't new, but this will save your life. It's so easy to do this. You need five of three different types of cigarettes for a mechanic. Wilston's being the most rare. All you need is one of the most common packs of cigarettes the apollos and some tea which you can even just buy off the flea market for like 20k and then you can craft all five of the wilsons you need in one go and get that done right away you're also going to need these lunch boxes for jaeger i think you need four or six in total so you can craft these right here as well condensed milks you can use to trade for the kiba key i don't think they're for any tasking um and then the sugar and slickers you don't need for tasking if i recall now med station one of the first things you can do in the med station is craft the Saluas, which is one of the very first tasks in the game. Very convenient, a lot easier than going out into the raids and trying to find them. Trust me, I was stubborn. I went out into the raids hoping to find all of these. I didn't think I needed to craft them. I ended up crafting my last two. It was way easier and you probably just should have done it from the start so you can focus on other things. There's a bunch of useful stuff you can craft here. Um, as far as task items go, this one just got added as well. In fact, I need to make one of these because I'm going to need three blood sets at some point. Uh, you all will and this task will help you get that done because they have to be found in raid two they also i don't have it unlocked yet but they have added a craft for sj6 stims and the reason that's cool is sj6 are like super stamina super stamina stims okay they pretty much double your stamina bar and let you run for a very long time especially overweight so they're very helpful to keeping your gamma when you uh survive a really good raid and you want to get out with all your loot you can pop an sj6 and get out quickly so that is a craft they added it must be med station level three which i have not unlocked yet but that craft is really cool previously you had to either go find the sj6 or just buy them off the flea and they're going for a lot of money so now we can craft those along with these red ones right here which increase strength which will increase your max weight those two stems are my ultimate get out of raid alive stems that I keep in my gamma for when I come out with a bunch of loot and I need to exit quickly. So those are just really cool crafts that you can do, uh, not necessarily for tasking. And uh, lastly here at the med station, the morphine you'll need four of at some point. You can craft these if you don't want to go find them in raid. It's much easier that way, just like everything else is. And as far as right now, that is all I have to show you guys. There are a couple more things I can unlock at these stations I showed you once I leveled them up a couple more times. But I think you get the idea. The point is you can get a consistent considerable amount of annoying tasking done through your hideout and it will save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle and it will free you up to play how you want to play or focus on the other tasks that you uh prefer or just you know knocking out two birds with one stone kind of thing so i hope this helped you guys out i hope this showed you how important the hideout is and how i can help you this isn't even half the stuff you can get at the end of your hideout progression by the way we haven't gotten the bitcoin farm we haven't gotten the uh scav box up and running the water collector to make moonshine like all of the money making stuff stuff we haven't even unlocked yet speaking of which if you haven't checked it out i did a video on is hideout important to you spoiler alert it is as you've probably discovered in this video but if you haven't seen the other video i did it shows you kind of like what a max hideout looks like and how cool and profitable it can be so if you want to check that out i will toss the link in the description below but enough rambling guys thank you so much for checking out another video i hope this helped you out don't forget i do stream on twitch five days a week so you can always check me out there if you want to come ask me any questions live i'm always happy to help you guys out I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.